Another breakdown video here, boys. We have Dotimus, also known as Dottie, or just Dot, I suppose, against Abram. This is Dotimus' furthest, furthest run in an MCS tournament ever. Uh, I've known for a few years he's been competing, but you can even see up here where he is not ranked. Let's grab the, uh, we got the Microsoft Paint. Well, it's not exactly Microsoft Paint, but it works. It's the NR, not ranked, whereas Abram is ranked 21 in the world. He, Abram was just at the most recent live event, and we're going to see Dottie on defense first. Right in the 4-3-6-1 defense. This can be found in 4-6 or Chiefs playbook. And really what we're looking for is a pinch D-line to get disengages up the middle, sending four, typically, not always, but typically, that's a rule of thumb. Usually these outside backers will be jetting out into flat zones. Every once in a while, though, you will see them dial up the pressure, blitzing these dudes. Uh, and it's a pretty popular defense. It's pretty good. And we'll see right here let's, what happens. No disengages, only sends three, but he's going to have the halfback out of the back with Abram immediately going there. And then you see Abram hit the juke move as soon as he catches that pass. If you guys aren't using juke moves, juke moves are ridiculously good in Madden. Abram all the way from gun bunch offset into gun tight slots halfback weak. That means he's either in the Bears playbook or the Bengals playbook, if I'm not mistaken. Slight opportunity for me to be wrong here, but I don't think I am. And yeah, so immediately... We're going to see a pretty big thing that Abram's going to do here, which is, look, 4-3-6-1 even is what I call a compression defense, okay? And what does that mean? There's no slot corners. So this guy right here is an outside backer. He's in pretty tight, just barely off the tackle, outside backer. So what you do is you spread out one side of the field, and these compression defenses just can't defend anything. Uh, they can't defend the sidelines very well. Think about it, again, right above my face cam. If this guy runs an out route, who's defending him? This guy? Well, what if this guy runs a corner route? And this guy runs a streak. You see how it, you can easily run very basic concepts against these compression defenses. And you will be able to, I mean, you can dot them up. You definitely can. Right here, uh, he's, he's going to go out route, actually. And look at what I said. That guy that I said has to defend him, did defend him. It's wide open. This is going to force Dottimus to do some unique things on defense. And we'll see if he's able to get a stop or not. But definitely will immediately throw him for a loop. Although Dottimus is very good. So he's counters to these, uh, these issues, essentially. Again, we're going to see the motion into a five-wide look, spreading this kind of defense out, and we'll see what he does. Dottom is only sending three, and that is a super tight throw for Abram. Tight throw, um, yeah, tight throw, tight defense. Don't, mm, it could have been caught, could have been picked. Just a, huh, uh, a ballsy throw early in here. And you see again, dude, like, look, we have three people outside the outside backer on the left side. And we could do some cool things. He's actually not going to do anything too crazy right here. A lot of meshing happening. Corner route. Bang. Jimmy Graham able to hold on to it. Easy. But this is another thing with this defense, right? Think about just a very basic flood concept, right? If you don't know what that is, flood concept is a clear out, a streak typically. Something underneath, which right here we have a halfback coming underneath. Sometimes it could be a backside. It could be this guy, whatever. And then we have a corner route, right? So if that's the case, who's going to defend the streak here? One of these two. Who's going to defend the corner route here? It'd have to be one of these two. Then who's going to defend the flat? It'd have to be this, like, it'd have to be this guy. And if this, like, you have to get the perfect combination on defense is what I'm getting at to be, to be able to defend this correctly. And let's see what happens here. They go, yeah, he just, it ends up beating man coverage. He went man coverage to try and make up for that. And the man coverage gets cooked by the tight end corner route. It's, yeah, there's a lot of, this defense is very good at forcing people to make stupid mistakes. And it's a very, uh, polarizing defense where if you don't know how to beat it and you get panicked, it's very easy to very, yeah, double juke. You see how good that thing is. Touchdown easy. It's very easy to, to get flustered against this defense. It really is. See right there. The RPL is going to do a really good job against this defense as well. Um, but again, I want to reiterate the reason Dot, I mean, Dottie's in the final four with this defense. So it's not like the defense sucks. It has some weaknesses just like every defense has. Um, but Dottie's, Dottie's a good player. He, he, he made it here running this defense. He'll be able to get around it. He's on offense now in the bunch off, uh, bunch strong offset. And we actually see Abram in the dime immediately setting really good pressure right there. Dime is a 6 DB set. And you're going to see he's going to really stack the line of scrimmage. So we have while we have two slot corners, this guy's a slot corner. This guy's a slot corner. We have four down linemen. And if he gets his user in here, I mean, you can see just how stacked this box gets. It could be hard to run the ball on it. And it'd be hard to pass the ball on it too. It really can. Dominic's going to go to a five wide look. Man, it's surprising how often five wide is used in Cop Madden as opposed to a few years ago. Inaccurate right there on the run. Tough to make that throw. You know, a few years ago, you'd really never see five, five wide be like a 
a popular thing in uh in Madden. And now, I mean, we see it consistently. And it's not people coming out in five wide, but it's people audibly to five wide, typically. We're going to see underneath, got the zig. He had it early, but then he's going to go all the way across the back foot. Made that throw. That's kind of wild. The halfback got super caught up right there. Oh, wow. Dang, if you're Donovan, you're a little annoyed. Or I guess, no, if you're Abram, you're a little bit annoyed. Donovan's on offense right now. But yeah, behind my face cam, he beat Skimbo, Henry, Vose, and Goat Geezy. He beat Skimbo and Henry. Like, don't get me wrong, the other two, Goat Geezy and Vose are very good too. But like, you got to think, he beat Henry. He beat Skimbo. These are some of the best Madden players to ever touch the game. And uh, Donovan's made it here. Abram, I'm trying to think of how well he did in the last event. I can't remember, but good dot from Dotamus. Just the littlest pocket right here. Gun bunch verticals, halfback streak, I believe. Yeah, if you could get at this play, gun bunch verticals, halfback streak. You see that little pocket right here between the safety and the uh, flat zone. Bang, possession catch barely stays in. Boom. Nice little point. Good to see. Good to see some, uh, I don't know, emotion, I guess, from, uh, from a competitor. Got Abram back in offense, immediately hits an RPO, double jukes, tries to get out, but only gains, I mean, not only, but gains eight out of it. Sees all the way again, this time into a trip set, trips to head and flex. Again, another formation, man, where a few years ago, you'd never see people do this, but ever since audible has become popular, people pick their best, their favorite playbooks, their favorite, you know, two formations it might be, favorite formation, and then they make things around that, kind of work with it. There's very few things that are off off limits now for, for comp Madden players. You can find a lot of viability within a lot of things. And you'll see a lot of people stick in the same ideas, especially as base offenses, right? Like right here, we have bunch. This is bunch strong, but it's a bunch look, right? But you'll see them audible into different things. Here's a cool route combo. If you want to steal something, steal this. It's the dot right there. Boom. This is pretty, uh, this is good. You can run this a few different ways, but we'll show it right here. If we have a flat. This pushes every flat zone to the sideline. We then have a streak coming up right here to replace that area. So what could defend the streak? Have to be a man up or it'd have to be a, uh, a hook curl kind of right here from the slot. This guy's on a drag. This guy's on a post. And this guy's on a clear out, right? And you can see it happened right here. Watch that left side. User has to bail into that area, which means the post is actually open right here. He waits a while, but he has the time to. And uh, boom, able to get a big gain. That's a cool play. I like that play a lot. Pretty good against man as well, uh, just because a drag and post can beat man, and the street could sometimes get up, get open up top. Let's see, this is right here. Dot on the run, got it. Little corner out. Abram moving the ball with ease against the six one right now. Yeah, high scoring early. Boom. Oh, he did not make the read fast enough. Dotty with the ball back. Dot Dotty Dotimus. Things D. I mean, it's just dude loves the letter D. Jeez. Um, let's see. Zig route. No. No. Donovan is always, in my experience, we saw it kind of on the first drive a little bit too, has played a little bit like a, uh, a crackhead, for lack of a better word. Just kind of played wild. Played like kind of reckless. And, I mean, he hit that off the back foot throw earlier. Halfback streak right now. Boom. Okay. Yeah, just tack of the seams make him, makes him not be able to send the pressure as well. RB, this is a tight throw. Inaccurate as well. I don't know if that was open. And immediately, Dotimus hits a big fourth and six pretty early in this drive, right? He has, he's only gained, yeah, only gained four yards. Got to go for it. Bunch right side. Let's see if he goes Y curl. I think he has quick snaps. Y curl, got it. Jeez. If you're Abram, you're sick. Y curl has that kind of inverted streak from, uh, Kind of slanting up almost from the ISO. And look at, he's already throwing it. The ball just got snapped. He's already throwing it. Look where the user is. Jeez, dude. If you're Abram, you're sick. Gosh. Yeah, dude. That takes the end of the first. Oh, we have here another corner route. A lot of corner routes being ran. Typically are. And a concept we keep on seeing is this double corner route thing, which is just, I mean, it's super good. He could have actually thrown it there had he not immediately rolled out. Double corners, bro. You have a deep corner. You have a short corner. Put them on the same side right next to each other. Typically go into like the wide side of the field. And as long as you have like a clear out, we'll see if they, one of them will run it again here. We'll talk more about it. Corner route. And that's just a corner. That's a basic flood. That is insane. That's what I'm talking about with like the kind of the crackhead stuff, bro. Like, look at this right here, bro. Like, what are we, this is a game worth like 25K. He's just, dude, dude, Dotimus. What are we doing?
That's two balls that could have been picked now this drive. And it's like, bro, it is just reckless. So he does. Verticals out of Gunbud Strong. I think it's called the poise. actually called Durham. He's going to totally change us up, actually. Kind of the same idea, though, right? We have that flat streak post. Yep. Let's see. Good defense. Nothing there. Throws it away. Dalvin's on another fourth down. The second one of the drive. He's six for 11 right now. He's going to go for it again. I feel like you have to. He will be... No, he, uh, Abram will be getting ball. At, no, Donovan will be getting ball half. So he's in a pretty good spot, actually. If he converts this. He's, just, he's in a good spot. So you have to go right back to the same route combo. Doesn't think he'll set up defense for it. Looking good. Looking... Uh, high ball. Need a... That's gift wrap, bro. That's what gift wrap can do. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. That's tough. Is that a jumpsuit, basically? All red? I respect that. Yeah, if you could get the high ball freeformed, bro, so good. You can do both at the same time. That's what he does right there. So good. Inside zone gets coughed up. See, dude, a lot of people, bro, I've seen more and more recently, they will just totally sell out for the run. Like, on the goal line, bro, sell out for the run, sell out for the RPO, and if they pass the ball on you, hey, let's go. Like, that's what you want. You don't want them running the ball. You want to blow up the runs. Touchdown right there. 14-14, Abram has the ball back, and he's going to call the play flood. Here we go. Like, this is, right, so we're going double corners. You can kind of see right here. This is a short corner. This is a play corner strike. This is stock short corner. Then he's going to put a hot route corner behind him. So it looks like this. We have two different levels of corners. We have a clear out route. And I mean, this is just, uh, usually you'd run this on this hash. He's actually a little bit further to the left, which I'm surprised he's actually calling it because not as good. But this just does such a good job of dominating both man coverage and zone coverage. Let's see. User had to go there. And he had another, he had essentially a flood. Not really a flood. Not really, I don't know what exactly it'd be called because it's not a smash either. But he had a high low read on the right side as well with the C route, out route. And yeah, I mean, just totally, totally forces him to defend the sidelines. And even the double corners can beat some of like the double Mabel type coverages, which is really, really good. If you don't know what double Mabel is, uh, Mabel in Madden is simply just having nice pressure. Jeez. Yeah. You see right there, the six one. And just like that, I'm going to interrupt myself. Just like that, do the six one, right? You put maybe not your best route combo on the field. Six one gets some pressure off the edge. Defense holds up just long enough. Just like that fourth and 17. Huge, 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 because this is tough for Abram. Um, but so Mabel, if you don't know, you put your curl flats to five, you put your flats to 25, and you back off those flats. Curl flats are at the line of scrimmage still. And you put, you put them on the same side, and that's Mabel. So you have a five-yard curl flat, 25-yard flat, defensive sideline. Look at that pressure again. Boom. Does not, I'm surprised he didn't defend this better. Um, but yeah, that's what Mabel is. So you have a short flat on the side. You have a deep flat on the same side, and then double Mabel is doing that on both sides. So you totally just blanket the sidelines. Huge fourth and 17 pickup for Abram. You really can't give that up if you're Dottie. Abram went uh, no huddle, minute 30 left in the first half. Abram really got to get seven so big for you here. Not getting points would have been. I mean, you got to think, Donovan's got gets ball at half. So had Abram gotten stopped right there, Donovan's could have went up seven at half and then gotten ball at half, went up 14. It would have been a huge, huge thing. Right here, got to watch the snap flat. Let's see. There's, yeah, there's a snap flat. Why is that? Like, how, 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 like the reason I know this, like the reason I know this is probably gonna be open is we can't really see it, but this is out. There's an outside corner right here, right here, right, give or take. And there's this guy. So if this guy is the flat zone, but there's a flat coming from the slot receiver, it's gonna be open. Like the flat's gonna be open, right? Boom! Watch this. Boom. See what I'm saying? Flat's going to be open. Bang, bang. Choo-choo train. Out of bounds, too. Yeah, that's where that 6 one. You kind of dictate a lot of what they do. But it can catch you, bro. A defense can catch you. And Abram's already gotten out of one bad situation. I, I like 6-1 for, like, the red zone. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's good. Bubble. There's a good bubble defense, but the juke move's too good. That's one of the big reasons RPOs are so good this year, dude. Because even if you get a one-on-one -on -one like that, which is, like, I got a hat. I got a hat on you. Like heck yeah, you just get juked out. It's like geez, which honestly, dude, I mean that's just. I mean, in in uh, schematically, if you're a coach, you'd be saying you're just getting your playmakers in space. 
Not a bad, not a bad scheme. Third and two. Dadam is calling his timeouts, trying to get the ball back before half. He knows how big this opportunity is before half. Let's see. We're going to go corner strike. No, we just flipped, I think. What's the play call, Abram? Okay. Here's that same idea, right? Streak. Post. Has it. Oh. Oh, he just got cheated bad. Poor accuracy for no reason. I mean, that's a... Hey. Hey, Do Dottie's laughing. <laughs> Bro, I'll be honest, dude. I like watching both these dudes play, man. These dudes, like, have emotions. They're laughing. Like, Donovan... Like, dude, so many people, I have seen so many people have that happen. They'd be like, D, D, D. It's like, bro, Adonis is last. Hell yeah, dude. I don't really ever talk to Adonis, but bro, Adonis, you're watching this, bro. You're a funny dude. Go. Oh, oh, he caught it. Oh. 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 Let's go. Same idea. Streak out back. We have a flat, but that flat instead is a is wide receiver wheel. Let's go. Snap the ball. 20 seconds left. Good D. He's getting some bad throws right there. Right there, it looked like he was on the run slightly, and he got hit, I guess. Abram has three timeouts here, so he has, like, I mean, he can really do whatever he wants. Uh, run the ball, whatever. RPO is good. Yep. Boom. Juke move. It would pick up a nice seven. Yeah. Timeout. 13 seconds. It, third and three. Tough place to get seven, but you, you have a lot of flexibility in your play calls, I feel like. So he does. Let's go uh, bunch wide dig return. So a lot of people call gun bunch dig return. He's going to go bunch wide. It's going to get him a little bit further out dig return from this. You see this play often. He missed the flat. Throws it super late. Oh, man, holding to three is so big here. I'm curious what happens because he gets one free play right here, right? A Abram does. He can do whatever. It doesn't matter. But if it comes down to the final play, Chris, do you kick? What do you do? Two runs. Yeah, two runs. Not a bad idea. Try a dolphin dive over, potentially. Let's see. Boom. Yeah, dude, you can kind of see. Good play call, but look at Dottimus' user right here. Dottie's user in the middle. Watch, he thinks stretch left. So many people run stretch. User goes over there first. Yeah, easy. Easy, easy touchdown. That's going to take us to halftime with Abram going up 21-14 on Dot. But Dot gets ball half, so he's not, like, in a bad spot necessarily. Dottie's ball. Here we go. We missed one play. I think it was a run play. Just missed it. Whatever. I don't care. Same idea, though. You see how they're using their halfback in the pass game quite a bit. That's what you see a lot of people do, dude. It's something I got to get better about. But if you want to use him on like little streaks, angle routes, wheels, and attacking the flat with him, dude, it's so good. A lot of times people would like use the halfback to attack the flat and like a wide receiver to attack, I don't know, the middle of the field or whatnot. But it's kind of the roles kind of change where now the wide receiver's attacking the flat and the running back's attacking the middle of the field, which is kind of cool to see because we really did not see that many like of that style route combo in the past, I feel like. A lot of times running backs would just be on wheels and stuff. A little smash return from Bunch is a good one. Uh, has it late? Try, I mean, dude, these both these dudes are making so many throws on the run. Fourth and four. Big play. Big play, big play, big play. We might go double corner route to the left. No, we're going to go with that same. Same idea, though. Streak. Streak, right? We have a flat. The flat is a corner route, but still we'll attack the sideline just the same pretty much. And in there, not really. The, oh, dot. Dot, 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 dot. Yeah, I hope Curl wasn't going to carry up too long. Good, uh, good read by Dottie. Good read. And now we're going to see double corners to the wide side of the field, right side. Halfback going out. We're going to see a little trail. Halfback streak, I feel like, is unnecessary here. I don't know what he's going to really provide. Rolling. Anything. Might try throwing it. That's a scary throw. Got it, though. No. Yeah, high ball. That, that catch gets dropped a lot, I feel like, in contact. They're making so many throws on the run, bro, without... He does not have roaming dead eye, I don't think. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe he does. I don't think he does. Maybe he does, though. I don't know. Let's go. See a lot of that disengage keeps on getting picked up. And this is just really good anticipation, bro. Like, this is actually, like, a lot of people, like, seriously, watch the running back right here. A lot of people are saying he's covered here. But you have gift wrap, right? A lot of people are like, look at where he's, like, serious. Like, look where the ball's being thrown. Ball's being thrown right now, already for a half a second, actually. Look where these two dudes are. This guy's backpedaling, though. This guy's on a full sprint. He knows he can highball that, get a really good pass lead on it, and come down with it. And he can. 
And that, I mean, that's so big, bro, because you don't see that. You go to third and 10. Let's say you get cheated on third and 10. You go to fourth and 13. Now you're kicking three or something, right? It's like, bro, that stuff's so, 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 so big, bro. Winner of this game plays Tory. We'll have a breakdown of that, obviously. If you guys want to get better at John Madden football, you can go over to my website, civil.gg, code premium for 25% off a monthly or yearly membership. Do a one-time payment. Get the next 365 days. Again, one-time payment, 25% off, code premium. We have a lot of great feedback over there. Full schemes, offense, defense. Have, I think, I want to say like five offenses, two defenses, including 6-1, including dollar, including some gun bunch, uh, some rollout stuff, some really awesome stuff. I love it. Again, link that top of the description. We're going to see a second and nine right now. Verticals, just going to quick snap it. Yep. Anything, got a high ball. Got it. Good job. Good read. He just look, he's just looking for this win off very edge of the screen. I don't even know if you guys will see it. But yeah, just barely a step. Tall wide receiver two over a small DB. Easy tutty. Who is that DB? Is that, is that Pacheco? Yeah. 21 12 ball game, boys. Another RPO. Dude, RPOs, you gotta add them to your scheme a little bit, bro. They're just too good. They're too good. Straight up. No way around them. You gotta have them. And the thing is, like, they're safe because like you can just make the read. And if it's there, you throw it. If it's not there, you can just hand it off. This is coming from someone who is not an RPO guy. I did not really like RP a ton of RPOs in the game and whatnot, or like using them. But I think a lot of these gun RPOs are really, really good. You see, I mean, five yards there. Even you, you get, like, they have huge big play potential, but they also can be used just in the confines of an offense for second, if, right? Like, you get five yards. Cool. Heck yeah. Did I just throw it? No, I wouldn't throw anything there. Yeah, third and five. Good D from Dottie. And right there, like, see, that's where it's like, okay, good D this play on second and five. Then let's say he gets lucky, right? Especially, let's say Dottie gets an A-gap right here, which this defense could do at any given moment. A-gap, sack, and completion, whatever. Then just like that, we're on a fourth and five. It's like, oh, here we go. Things are heating up. Yo, you watch that out route. Nope, good D. Nope, underneath, wide open. Yep. Yep. Uh, Donovan is doing a lineup glitch, by the way, to get Deion Sanders at his uh, middle linebacker spot. I, I, to do the lineup glitch, Will, we have it in our Discord. I don't do it because it's like a huge hassle, but you could do it. Um, again, I personally don't do it, but you definitely could. You definitely can. It's pretty good. But now we have two free Lurk Artists in the game. So, I mean, really, you could run this with just one Lurk Artist costing something. So, keep that in mind. He has a, I think he has a safety right here, too. No, no, actually, he has... Oh, so he's doing something super smart. I didn't even realize. I didn't give him credit for this. Check this out. Next play. I'm a good dot. I mean, really, we're not going to have a next play? Jeez. I mean, that's wild. Check this out. He's got safety right here. Like, these, these are safeties glitched in right here. Safety glitched in right here. Safety glitched in right here. Then he has free lurk artist right here. Free lurk artist right here, which means he can zone these guys out. Typically, these dudes would have to be rushing. He could zone them out, uh, which he has done some. Uh, I just didn't really even think about the fact that they, didn't, that they had lurk artists on them. This is insane. Four people. Boom. Boom. Jeez. All right. Dottie's got answer back. In the fourth quarter now, Dottie has already cr crossed midfield after one play. And we're on a second and 10. 13 for 20. Dottie is right now. He can move the ball well on offense, dude. He'd just be a little scary sometimes, I feel like. He'd be, he'd be doing a little, just a little scary sometimes. Got a double corners right side, but then we have a nice little C route on the left. Could throw. It's open, too. This is one of the big things that, like, whew, that's one of the big reasons I hate. Like, you don't want to prematurely roll out because check this, right? Uh, he rolls out here a little bit for no reason. Trying to get a little bit better angle over here, but it's kind of hard to see. DB's back here, right? DB's right here. This C route is open, but he can't throw. It's scary to throw it now because you're way over here, right, trying to throw it. In reality, you should be here throwing it, and that's an easy completion. And we got nothing over here, right? This is just a hard, hard, hard throw that almost gets picked off. One of the things, like, like, again, rolling out, you do it naturally sometimes, and it, and it helps make certain throws, but it can hurt you making other throws, and right there, it kind of hurts him. It's, it took away a, a pretty wide-open dot, um, which now leads to a third and 10, which is kind of a power down. It's like, a, hey, you got to lock up here, third, or you got to be on your A game, third and 10. Motions Mackey over into a slot streak. Might be a snap throw to him, potentially, if the blitz comes from the slot corner. We'll see, been a lot of, yep, does, does. Just like, see, that's what I'm saying, though. You can't make the mistake on the previous play because you get cheated right there. And now it's fourth down. And this literally was exactly, <laughs> that's wild that, that I got it right. It makes sense, though. Look, 
This guy's off. He's in some kind of deep zone, right? More likely than not. This guy's blitzing. So if this guy's on a streak, who defends him? This guy? He'd have to get way out there immediately. So he does this, throws it. It's open. Deflected. Got, cheat, got cheated. Straight up. That's a cheat in Madden. That's a cheat. That's a cheat. That's a cheat. And just like that, dude, right? He, he hurt himself second and 10. Got cheated third and 10. Now he's on a huge power down where it's like, okay, like, this is where it's like kind of like high pressure. This game's for 25K or so. Let's see. He goes, um, again, dude, they love that. He's going back to the same play. He really likes this route combo. I don't blame him. I need to run this more. Boom. Had that same kind of thing. Again, bad read. And there it's just, you, like, there, that's how, like, that's how you get stopped in Madden. Right? That's how you get stopped in Madden. You hurt yourself, go to a next down. You uh, get cheated, boom, then you just make a bad play. Just like that, you're done. Just like that, you have to limit how much you hurt yourself because it comes back in like ways like, like it did the very next play because you get cheated, boom, boom, boom. Dang, that's tough for Dottie. Yeah, with uh, Abram up 28-21. 20, that was a tough spot, man. We'll see what Abram does here. You're going to be chewing clock, running the ball. Got to get points, though, if you're Abram. Seven is obviously super ideal, but, dude, if you get a cool three, you're chilling. You're chilling, you're chilling. And if you're going to milk this down all the way to, you know, uh, snap it under three seconds, super nice, super nice. Go snap it four, corner route, dot, and he got touched in bounds, too. And that's what sucks, bro, that touch in bounds because uh, the clock's going to keep moving. And it's going to run another 30 seconds off, which, I mean, at this point, Dada misses every second. If he's going to complete this comeback now, he needs every single second. Inside zone. Gets shot. Second and 11 from the 44. We're on the verge of field goal range. Don't know what ability Abram has on his kicker. He definitely has the best kicker in the game, so he could make this, but it's going to be a tough one. And Abram is going to pass as well. That's ballsy. Pressure comes. Oh, see, he, this is the thing, dude. Like, is this a pick? Look at that 6-1 getting after him off the left edge. He's throwing, that's manned up. I don't think it's a, I think it should be a pick. I don't think it is a pick. They're in 11 now. You can't go backwards here, everyone. I think you got to pass again. Can't take a sack. You don't really, you could kick from here. It's just, it's a tough kick. And this is the hardest kick you could have. Pressure, right edge, right at him. Just, oh, dribbles into a hit stick. Don't go for this. You kick, you kick this, you kick this, you kick this. Yeah, you have to kick it. You have to kick it. The fact that Coach Suggestion says not to is insane. That's wild. And, uh, I mean, he, he makes this. So yeah, he, he made it. We'll skip ahead a little bit. See, Donovan is down 10. See, he's trying to do a second and 10. You got three timeouts, dude. Two possessions, three timeouts. You always have life. Especially in this game where onsides are kind of wild. You definitely have some life, but pressure. Boom. That would have been game. Let's see, boom, quick throw. Okay. Jeez. Two-minute warning. Fourth and ten. Got to get this. Going double corner routes for the bread. See, motion half back out. Yep. Yep. I, I mean, I love this combo. I really do. It's tough. Go hut hut. Hut hut. Yep. Boom. Snap throw. Got it. Dot. Gotta hurry up. Gotta go, 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 go. I don't think I spike it here, but I'm looking to kick my field goal soon, too, honestly. Ah. Oh, it kind of depends. We'll see. Lobs it. Gonna get the KO, definitely. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Verticals, quick snap. Good. I mean, picked up the pressure, but just good defense. Yeah, man coverage will cook that, uh, will, will bag verticals quite a bit. If you think verticals coming, you run man coverage, it'll do a pretty good job, typically. Typically, it could, there's some setups to beat it, but they'll typically do a good job. Stop, clock is stopped. Third and 10. You go verticals again. Kind of just gonna, pff, I don't know why he, yeah, I don't know why he did that. That's GG's, though. That's gonna be GG. Abram's gonna run this clock out. Boys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. A lot of you guys aren't. If you got any value out of this, consider hitting the subscribe button. If you're actually serious about getting better at Madden, you want kind of like kind of the guides and then the, like the ways, the thinking, the plays that go into just being able to transform your Madden game. Civil.gg. Code premium. Link top description. All right, boys.